to Weather Authority meteorologist now Josh Kozlowski. And Josh, I know today is really crummy for the weather. I'm kind of hoping, is it going to get colder maybe for some snow? I know most people don't want to hear that. I want to hear it though, Josh. Do we have a chance soon or is there some sunlight at the end of the tunnel? Dale, didn't you just have your brother put the boat away like, you know, weeks ago? Now you're wanting the snow so soon? Uh, yeah, there, of course, there are winter enthusiasts. We've gotten snow before in October. This is not the uh, first time it's ever happened. I really don't think we're going to see a lot here in Syracuse. It's going to be more like the mountains, the tug, some of the hill towns east, southeast, and southwest and south of Syracuse. Probably just like a slush and mush. If that, the ground temperatures aren't super cold. But let's get over to the radar for now. We just have primarily a cold rain happening in the area. This is Triple Doppler, sponsored by Falso Service Experts. You can see it's mostly green. It's mostly a light rain, including out here on the weather deck. The hood is up, so I'm staying dry. And I've also got the fleece on underneath, too, because you got to stay warm and dry. I think my rain park alone uh, wouldn't be great. And it's also that kind of night and kind of week coming up here where you're going to have to move around when you're outside. You can't stand still for very long, <laughs> otherwise you'll really feel it. Okay, as we zoom in a little bit here to Onondaga and Madison County here, the city of Syracuse, yes, also some rain for Camillus, Westvale, Fairmount, Skinny Atlas, Onondaga Hill, up towards Cicero, Clay, Baldwinsville, out to the east, Manlius, Fayetteville, Casanova, down to Pompey here. We're all dealing with some of that rain, and at times it can pick up a little bit. 46 is the air temperature right now, and while we don't necessarily have a dampness mode of like a wind chill graphic, I can tell you it feels colder than 46. It feels almost like 36, really, and we have low 40s elsewhere to mid 40s around our viewing area. If you're scrolling on your phone right now, take a quick brief moment, head over to our CNY Central mobile news app. You can see the hour-by-hour -hour timing for when it, the best chance will be for some wet flakes and grapple, the soft hail pellets to be in the air, and when the temperatures will be the coldest. It's also available right now on cnycentral.com, so you can know before you head outside this week. Area low pressure moved through today. The warm front stayed south. It's sliding to the east. It's attached right here, this little trough, this yellow dash line, to another area low pressure. They're both keeping the cold air dragged over us. And Mother Nature is going to take some of the already present rain in the atmosphere and turn up the volume a little bit at times with instability over Lake Ontario. We call that Lake Enhance and eventually just pure lake effect type of showers. Temperatures tomorrow morning will be near 40 with some off and on rain, steadier, and then here you go. There's some wet flakes, Grapple, Tug Hill Mountains later in the day. Same thing in the hills southeast of Syracuse. It's going to be a raw kind of day. We're going to do it all over again for you Tuesday and Wednesday. Lows in the 30s near 40. Highs will struggle to even reach the mid 40s at times. You added any kind of wind with a dampness factor. Occasional Grapple soft hail pelts on the windshield and wet flakes. It's going to be a cold, early preview of almost winter-like type air. Thursday, better 56. Friday, 65 and warmer. And look at that, Saturday and Sunday. Dale, there's the light at the end of the tunnel. Both days, partly mostly sunny. Highs close to 70. So much warmer the next few days. Dale. I'll have to keep my hopes up for the snow, Josh. Thank you. Next in sports, the New York Liberty needed a win in Game 2 of the WNBA Finals. And of course, a Central New York native put the team on her back. All the highlights next in sports.